Good morning, Cowboys region! Uh, kind of corny, but whatever. Um, hi guys, this is Phoenix again, coming back at you with, uh, actually, this time a random passerby battle. Uh, this time I'm going versus Paul. I just actually got finished raising up my Rotoms. I've been looking into Rotoms, and I believe somebody suggested instead of using my uh, Heliolisk the way I was using it, so I decided I'd go ahead and give these Rotoms a try, and I did, and it turns out I'm slightly obsessed with the Rotoms. So I have three Rotoms in here, Rotom Heat, ro the, well, at least the Oven, Rotom, I can't really remember the letters, so I'm just going to go by the, uh, what they actually are. But I got the Oven, the Washing Machine, and the Fridge. I love this, this idea. And of course I've got my... Axel Gore and I've got my Zora Arc and I got my freshly trained Fortress which I, I'm slightly obsessed with as well. Uh, now let's go ahead and get on with this battle. Slightly dirty screen. Starting off with my Fortress, the plan here is to actually set up Stealth Rock and Spikes from a Fortress and then move them on out and then use them later with Gyro Ball. And of course he Mega Evolves his Mawile, which he ironically named Smiles. <laughs> Cute. Now I'm not a big fan of the whole Mega Evolution thing, but you know, I can't really control it. The league I'm going to be running and competing in will have no Mega Evolutions just because we like, all my friends like to run, you know, traditional style original stuff, but whatever, teach his own. But, he hits me with Iron Swords Dance, to Spikes, to Iron Head, makes me flinch. Fortress is still standing because he is a bulky beast. Now I go for my Stealth Rock along with my Spikes, I've got what I needed. So, hey, Swords Dances again, and this is ridiculously dangerous. I know that really I shouldn't let him do two Swords Dances. Now he's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know why I tried the gyro ball. I should have just go ahead and plucked him out. But I believe I was going for just a, you know, just sacrificing him for the good of the team. See what else I can get out there. Try not to give him a, uh, a uh, advantage as far as switching. Now this, I put out Zorark and I absolutely misplayed the crap out of this. What I should have did was just immediately attack, attack, attack and try to get as, get as much health down as possible. And he's just playing rough, super effective. Down with Zorark. What a waste. I can't believe I did that. I realized it as soon as it, that thing said play rough. I was like, ah, uh, fornication. And Axagore comes out using turn one bug, bug buzz. You think I'd learn last time. It does mediocre damage, but damage is damage. And of course, his dual swords dance one shots my. Axel Gore, who can't really take a hit. And out with the dishwasher. Dun, 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 dun. That's what I should say every time this guy comes out. Because he is just a straight beast. I was thinking about getting a Volt Switch. I'm still still on the ropes to get a Volt Switch, but his loadout here with Confuse Ray and Thunder Wave seems to be quite effective. Along with this Hydro Pump. For a ton of damage, now he's confused. Well, would you look at that? Confusion actually worked. And he killed himself. I'm down with that. So he takes out the Mega Evolve Mawile like it's nothing. And now he puts his own... Dun, 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 dun. Rodom W out. He chooses the Shadow Ball. I'm going to Thunder Wave, but I... Like I said, I'm still learning. So Thunder Wave does not work on Electric Pokemon, which I realized afterwards. So that's a wasted move. Yeah, I use Confuse Ray. Hopefully I'll get confused from this. I'm hoping and praying. And does he? Yup, he sure does, just like I wanted. And now I use Thunderbolt. Fantastic move. Big chunk of damage, down with that. Hurts himself again. Going to another Thunderbolt. That's two down, thanks to Dun 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 Dun. Rotom W. 
And now he sends out this Chuck Norris Pokemon, and I'm like, oh god, anything named Chuck Norris is probably gonna beat the crap out of me. Look, I got the spikes out, and I got Stealth Rock out with Fortress. Poor Fortress. He quick attack, nothing much I can do about that. I don't know. Me. Sorry. And another Rotom! And he immediately withdraws it. This time, it's the oven. Dun, 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 dun. Now, somebody actually told me on the Facebook uh, group that... I believe it's... Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's an ability... I believe that will make Earthquake hit a levitating Pokemon and will cancel out the Pokemon's abilities. Didn't know that before, but regardless, this guy has Stone Edge and there's nothing I can do against that. Especially seems as though it is a, the fire. And now we got the fridge. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna thunder wave him, hope and pray that he gets paralyzed next turn. Hoping and praying. I use Blizzard. Does a substantial amount of damage. I'm down with that. And he's paralyzed to another blizzard. There we go. That is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm in love with these Rotoms. I I am in love. I don't even care that they're weak to Stone Age. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. You give them Thunder Wave, Volt Switch, and Confusion. And that's all they need. That's all they need. And I don't, I really don't think there's anything I can do against Mr. Chuck Norris. And that there, children, is the game. Couple of missed clicks and still learning and still need to put the correct moves on my Rotons. But all in all, they actually did pretty well. Now the person was right about the, uh, the whole Earthquake thing. I am terrified to go up against somebody who has Mold Breaker. That's what it's called. Who has Mold Breaker with Earthquake. They will sweep the team. But all in all, they are very, very solid Pokemon, and I would suggest using them just for fun. I wouldn't suggest using it in a competitive nature, but my uh, specific league, I can do that because it's not a fiercely competitive league anyways. So I'll probably end up running all road arms. I'll have more videos up for you guys soon. Um, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share it, tell a friend, whatever. Um, I'm now starting to take some request on Facebook to, you know, upload on YouTube. This was a random one, just random passerby. So, yeah, and hopefully I'll start doing some giveaways because I've got a ton of shinies that I don't really use. So look out for that on the Facebook page, and uh, I might have some stuff on my website. Now, if you want to check out my website, casleague.com, remember, give it a like and subscribe. And that was a random Pokemon battle. Phoenix out. Have a good one, guys.